Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Tabby and this is another vlog about doing another fashion show. So, I did my first fashion show in 2020. I was really excited about that and I, um, I think it was a really good experience and I had more ideas. So I applied for the scholarship that the Alliance had. They um, give out so much money and um, makerspace time and mentorship. Um, for and they have three slots I believe for this um, opportunity so my mom was encouraging me to apply if I had more ideas which I did so I applied and I have so I have a zoom meeting tonight later at six to meet with the board and to um, sell myself and say hey this is why you should consider me so I I don't know why I'm so stressed about this but I came up I did my sketches I have um, sketches from uh, a sketchbook but this I thought would be better that way I could hold it up and it would be more visible because the sketchbook I did in my spray crap so um my three lines are a little different um I'm picking different things that I really like to go with so I have a lot of peplums and bows going on in this concept um then opposed to like what I had with my dreamy the dots collection I still really want to do knitting, knitting accessories. Um, I still think that's what sets me apart. So, yeah, got that later tonight. And we'll we'll see where that goes. So it is currently December fifteenth, and it is exciting because I got a call this morning from the director of the Fashion Alliance, and I won the Emerging Designer Award. So I am getting a lot of money. Um, I also. She asked me if I wanted booth space at the Alliance, and I said yes, because I'll probably be there a lot. Um, so I'm supposed to be getting a check in January, and it's it's really cool that I won this, um, which means I can do the fashion show again. I definitely am doing the 2021 fashion show. I have to up my game. I have to um, make sure everything is... Um, better or uh, more impactful than last year um, so I have I'm hoping that I can get out of Dodge um, out of Northern California and go to the Bay Area to do some fabric shopping after I get the check in January and then um, I'm going to be knitting some things again because I think that's something that I really enjoy and, and sets me apart and is unique is the knitting aspect um so i will be i think buying my fabric first and then going to my local um dyer to me and saying hey i have this fabric i want to match i'm thinking maybe this year maybe have all my accessories be that i'm knitting in one color opposed to like last year of they match um the outfit each outfit but I'm I'm doing floral. I'm hoping to do florals this year, so maybe all green accessories to match the leaves or um, something. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing socks again. It's a thought. Um, I'm thinking more like a hat, the snoods, um, neckerchief, a knitted purse, that kind of thing. So um, this is very very exciting. <laughs> It is currently the 4th of February, and I thought I would do a little synopsis of what I accomplished in January. So during January, I had um, four labs of uh, at the Alliance. Um, they're kind of like workshops, so we had an instructor, but we were kind of responsible for what we wanted to work on during that time. So during that time, I was able to draft a bodice for the dress I'm going to be modeling myself. And um, so I did a mock-up from the pattern I was using and drafted a pattern from that, did another mock-up. I still need to work on that. I drafted the skirt for the um, dress and I drafted the pattern for the peplum. I cut out a peplum. Um, I need to finish that dress i need to cut out a skirt for it and keep um, working on it i got some samples for fabric i've uh, made some decisions in that field i just need to purchase the fabric um for some of the items and some of the items i'm still looking for fabric for i've purchased labels i purchased patterns that i'm going to be drafting from i'm going to start with those bases and then tweak them 
um, and I have the labels coming for sewing it into my clothing for when I'm making it rather than last time sewing it in at the last minute. In February, I have a f four more weeks of lab, um, and then I have a pattern manipulation class that starts today. We are, have an instructor for that, and I think that's going to be more of a structured class than, say, the lab. So, I thought I'd show you my collection planner. Um, it is full right now, so it has um, a lot of stuff from my pattern drafting class, which is this. And then I made some half scale um, garments for the half scale model. Um, these are swatches. So this was a option for a dress. Um, these are my second sketches. So this is the dress, um, dinner dancing look, brunch look, and then this is my travel look. Um, and then these are my labels, which I will be sewing into my clothes. Um, that I got off Etsy. I think they're organic cotton. This is a question my lab instructor had for me, which was, what are your modern elements? I said my designs were modern and vintage, and she wanted to know which um, elements were modern. So I came up with some answers. Mostly, I think the high-low nature of um, different elements in my clothes are modern. So this was um, me throwing colors on my sketches. So I really wanted a um, black with red rose. This is the swatch I found at Hobby Lobby. That was an option. Um, these swatches I got off of fabric.com. This was more a look black online, but it's actually a navy. Um, and then I didn't think the roses were big enough. There was also white. This is a chiffon. I wasn't exactly what it was going for but um and then I was thinking I could do either the peplum that's detachable in the same fabric or a contrasting fabric and I think I will go with contrasting fabric and um matching accessories if I wanted to go with a red or a green and then let's see this is my travel look I pretty much knew what I wanted for that I wanted like a daisy. I found this really cute knit that looks kind of retro um, that I will be getting from Art House Gallery off of fabric.com. And then I have to find something that will match the um, print for the treasure. And then for my brunch look, I had a couple of options. I um, originally thought I had, I wanted a, like a purple flower, but I also thought about daisies. There was this really pretty kind of tulle daisy. Um, so I thought about doing that with a top and a plain skirt or this really pretty um, violet fabric that I found off of Spoonflower that I thought I could do with a top and a plain skirt. Um, so I ultimately went with this fabric and I decided though that the top is pretty dramatic. So I would put um, all the pattern on the bottom because the skirt is pretty plain and then maybe do some embroidery on the top so those are my sketches with colors um, these were swatches for pants for the travel look but none of them really match my daisy fabric as you can see because they're too dark um, again, this is all stuff from pattern drafting class um, that I have nowhere better to put, so it's here. And a fortune. Yeah. Because occasionally I eat at Panda. Um, so this is the planner that they gave me. Um, and then this is my goal is to finish my collection because I have a deadline, which is always great. Um, and then the concept of my collection is florals, bows, peplums, and just that timeless classic feel. Um, and then this collection is designed for these live concepts. So my first look is travel, my second look is brunch, and my third look is dinner and dancing. And then this is my mood board, kind of that traveling to a nice resort kind of flower field um, feeling. So, you know picture a girl in a classic car for my traveling look and then this is my palette which is blank because I haven't totally made decisions
Um, there's some pages in here that I love blank. Okay, so this is my first look. These are my pieces. This is my inspo as far as the snood goes. Um, and then this is my brunch look, and that's my inspiration for my pillbox. And this is my dinner look. I have a little more inspiration for this. I have the detachable peplum idea, um, the sophisticated red rose, and then I inspiration picture of Veronica Lake because essentially that's what I want to do with the hair for this look. Um, and I only have three looks, so the rest of these are blank, you know. I could, at the last minute, throw in another look because it's just... And then it gives me the project planner, like the materials I need, name of the pattern, all that. Um, and then, what else do I have in here? I think I have measurements. So my lab instructor gave me this, um, where all the measurements, you know, your shoulder, where they are on the body and what they're called. Um, and then the last thing I added myself as an expense tracker of how much I'm spending on what. Um, since I am working within the thousand dollars they gave me um, is my budget. Um, but this needs to be updated, so. And then the last thing I have is, oh, my other question from my instructor. Which is, do you have plans of selling these? Um, I'd like to, yes. And then this is just stuff from my um, models last year. Um, and my concepts. Anyway, so that is my collection planner. When I was at work the other day, I was thinking, you know, last year I did hats and feet accessories, and then this year I'm doing gloves for me, and then a purse, and then had accessories for the other two and I'm like well I really I hate carrying purses as a woman um so why am I doing two purses and then this neckerchief scarf thing doesn't work so why not just you know do gloves for everyone <laughs> because it's not like I hate DPNs or anything <laughs> I do um so I have one glove for me done and they're full length opera gloves so they go past my elbow and I'm making progress on the second one so I'm thinking at this point, pulling this out, um, scrapping the mohair, using this for gloves, doing like some driver's gloves that come down to like past the heel of the hand um, that are open on the back and maybe um, like partially, you know, they come up the finger a little bit, but they're fingerless. Um, and then doing some longer length gloves for my brunch look with a little ruffle in the hem. Um, and maybe some bows. I So I have patterns that I'm going to adapt for those projects. Um, and they're all finger weight, fingering weight yarn, which is what I have here for my travel look. And then what I have, what I was going to knit my purse out of. And I'll just continue to knit the snood and the felted hat um, for the girls and keep the purse for me and do my gloves. <clears throat> so yeah, it's not like I'm, what? three months away and making changes out of the blue. <laughs>
filming day. It's Friday the 27th and it is the first filming day for the fashion show. So I have a designer interview to film. But the snag I hit was that um, my one model, something on its, her mom contracted COVID. So she is in quarantine and I am really early to the interview because I am meeting someone else. I have two different people that I texted um, that hopefully will fit the outfit I made my um, co-worker slash model who can no longer do it. Um, so I'm meeting that girl at 3 and then I'm meeting the other girl tomorrow night and we film on Sunday so it's a very last minute. They've had some makeup and hair people drop out. It's kind of a little bit of a panic. But you know what? It's going to be fun. We're going to get through this. I have no idea what kind of questions they're going to ask me for my interview. But hopefully, um, it goes well. Yo, yo, what's up? It's film day. It is Sunday, the 29th of August. And it is time to film the fashion show. So, um, I realized that I never said uh, how long I've been uh, sewing. So I was sewing up until Wednesday and then everything was done. Basically what I had left to do Wednesday was hem my dress and work on my peplum. I had gotten everything else pretty much done, which turned out to be a good thing when my original model for my travel look kind of dropped out at the last minute and I had texted two different girls. Um, so the one I met up with Friday before the interview, um, the coloring and everything was spot on. So I had... Like the pants fit her well, the shirt fit her well, the shoes fit, the gloves fit, everything fit. Her coloring was great. So I went with her and I texted the girl I was supposed to meet up with Saturday and said, I found someone else. I'm going with this person. So I made a Dutch Bros run. I have liquids to keep some of us hydrated. Um, and then I have uh, my hair and makeup choices. And um, yeah, we're just, I'm just about, I got my base foundation on. I'm just about ready to grab my stuff and head over there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be filming and then inside the theater because we're gonna, we were gonna film outside, but you know, Northern California, so there's some wild, wild fires. So it's pretty smoky outside. Um, so we're gonna be filming inside of the um, theater instead of outside. Um, and it's, our cold time is like 8.40 and um, we film until like 10 I think. We're, at some point we're getting our pictures taken and both the f film, the person who filmed it this year and last year is the same person and the person that's taking our pictures was the same last year too um, and so he actually, they both remember me very um, highly so that was really touching. <laughs> But yeah, let's go um, get ready. So sharpeners, do we? It's okay. I left mine at home as well. Maybe Matt. Yeah. This is so great. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> I mean, I think we still have time. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Because you have one eyeliner, one no eyeliner. <laughs> and we will get there. Yes. Yeah. You're doing good. Okay. What time is your walk away time? Um, I think we're on at 10. Okay. What? We're leaving at 10. I think we're on at 920. You have time. Thank I God. So. Yeah, you do. I, I got super confused. Plenty of time. Because we were supposed to be here at 630, so got confused. Everything delayed, right? Okay. Good. good. I'm excited to uh, yeah, walk down the highway and show off my stuff. All my hard work. Yeah. yeah. Hard work. <laughs> did, what did you say? Hard work. Hard work. I heard hard wear. <laughs> and you got your model. Show off the gloves.
up. It's been a hot minute. So, um, ultimately everything went good with filming and modeling and, and pictures and stuff. We did get out kind of late, which makes me feel bad because my one model had a bit of a drive in front of her and school the next day. But, um, everything went well. And I went in the pictures and they were fantastic. I have not seen the video because here's the thing. It's been a hot moment. The fashion show was supposed to be, I want to say, September 26th, like the live walk. So they did the filming. We were going to do a premiere of the filming and a live walk. So that got pushed out. There was a COVID concern and there was they decided kind of a week before um, to push it out six months and do it in April. So it is now April 29th, I believe. Tomorrow's the 30th. So tonight there is a... Um, rehearsal for the show and the venues have changed a little bit has changed so it's been six months um in the meantime i've lived a lot of life i've moved towns i'm not too far away but far enough to be have a bit of a drive to get back to my hometown um i have changed jobs i have no longer part-time i'm full-time which cuts down on my time for other things so essentially everything is ready everything is made um and it has been for that six months, but it's just, they said if I had extra things I wanted to make or sell tomorrow night, um, I would have six months to do it in, which jumping directly into a full-time job after moving didn't really give me a lot of time for that. Um, so in the meantime, um, the two models that I had for the filming, one of them decided that she wasn't comfortable or the idea of walking was stressing her out a lot. And I was like, you know what, I understand. Um, I get it, walking in front of people is nerve-wracking, um, a lot more than, like, in front of a camera and being filmed. Completely understand, don't worry about it. Um, so I found a replacement model for her. Everything fits pretty good. There is a little bit of a height difference. I have heels that will fit her, though, so it's fine. Um, and then my other model was a little concerned about some weight she had gained, but everything still fits. It's a little snugger. We're all good. Um, so again, kind of not super last minute, like last time was super last minute, but having to find a model kind of last minute ish. Um, so everything I think is squared away though. I've got all my stuff, um, the rehearsals tonight, and then we were asked to find our own hair, hair and makeup this time. So I asked the girl who did my hair and makeup for the filming, she did a good job and the guy who was supposed to do it who came late um I wasn't super impressed with him so I just went with her uh she was, she's gonna we're gonna go to her apartment tomorrow and she's gonna do our hair and makeup and then we'll go over to um the venue and get ready there I don't know how much downtime we'll have between all that um I know that we have to be over there I think at five and she has to leave for work at four so Everything's gonna come together and be great, I think. It's fashion show live walk day. So I am about to drop off a ticket for one of my guests. <clears throat> get some Dutch Bros for my wonderful hair and makeup girl. And then get Orta hair and makeup, so. That's funny, because this eye wants to blend a lot better than this eye. Woohoo!